Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to put together the garden window card SVG file from Simply Crafty SVGs. So with this card I do like to do the piecing first and I'm doing a little uh, inking around the edges and I do like to ink um, the different components. So this, what I'm doing is inking the different slats that go on the shutters of the card. So we just jump right in. And I'm just using a little chalk ink, a dark brown. And what it does is it just gives it definition around the edge so you can see the edge easily when you put the card together. So it just jumped ahead so you didn't have to watch me do all the inking, but basically I inked everything that would show like the three slat long slats on the shutter and the four shorter ones. So to glue these panels on wherever you can before you put together the card is helpful. So we're just going to put this little window piece in. And if you wanted a white window and you had a white card, then you could always just keep it white too. But I have it the same color as the the shutters. But of course you could change it however it works for you. And the white part on the left and right won't show anyways. That's just to attach to the card. So here you want to make sure that you arrange the slats with each side. So you might want to piece them on first so you know how they go on. And then you just can go ahead and I would stay either start at the right or the left side. And just line it up to the appropriate side making sure it's lined up on that back panel. And then you can just slide in the remaining pieces. Then after we get all three pieces on each side, and then we'll add those two horizontal pieces of wood on the top and bottom. Um, you can just watch where I place them and um, just watch the remaining steps to putting these together. So now that we have the shutters together, we're just going to put them aside. Then we're going to put together the little pot with the flowers. I have them in my handy dandy little embellishment bowl, which is a freebie on our website. It helps me not lose my small pieces. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm just cleaning up my flower a little bit. Sometimes, um, as you probably know, the cutter doesn't cut really clean in areas. I just didn't uh, have the right depth on my blade, but didn't want to waste them. It's a quick fix. So I'm just making sure my texture is up on my green paper. And then I'm just going to um, go add the middles to the flowers and then on to the green stems. But first I just want to curl the flowers just a little bit with my little metal stylus. We'll just put a dot of glue in the middle 
and then add the middle of the flower. And you could always use just a rhinestone in the middle if you don't want to use the little middle or cut it out. It cuts out quite well con considering how small it is. I also added an enamel dot on the final card in the middle to give it a little bit of uh, like a 3D effect. I like 3D dimensions on a card. So, but you could use a little rhinestone or something like that in the middle instead of the uh, middle of the flower or whatever you want to do. There's, there's lots of ideas. Or dot of stickles or what's big these days. Nu Nuvo. Nuvo drops I like. If you haven't seen them, you should check them out. And once we get that on there, that's just going to glue on behind there. So you just want to line up that top edge just below the the back of the, the top edge of the blue pot. And I only uh, added that one separately in the middle um, just to make it easier. So if you did need to overlap them, it would be easier. So I'm just doing a little bit of a little curl on my leaves. And what's fun about this card, you could omit the flowers and you could put something else in the front. This could be easily modified to be a Christmas card too. Or you could put a cat inside the window, or like a little silhouette. Anyways, you could put some things behind there. But I made it a birthday theme with a birthday pattern paper with nothing inside. But it is a flexible card if you could use it for Mother's Day, you could use it for a birthday. There's a birthday sentiment, but you could take the, you could put a different sentiment on the same, same tag if you'd like, or just a different tag on the top. So now we're going to fold this. So I like to fold backwards first, naturally with the score marks. So we want to just get it nice and crisp edges from folds. And then you're going to fold it back this way. So you have a valley fold and that in inner fold. So it's just easier to fold back and then forward, for me at least. But if you have a different method, just giving you what I, works and um, you could use a bone folder but I tend to use round tools that are just hanging around as to help uh, with my folds. So that's how it folds and then the top same thing. So the fold, the top one you kind of want to fold backwards and then you want to fo forward, backward, forward. You want to get it kind of loose because it needs to drop down when you open the, the card. And you'll know when you, you do it. Depends on the paper you use. I'm using an 80 pound uh, American Craft textured cardstock but if you don't get it folded enough then it won't fold down when it opens because you want it kind of just to open up and stay in place when you uh, open that card so we're going to add that top panel I put my uh, there's a little pin that goes in this fine tip applicator so I had to put it away so I didn't lose it I tend to lose them on the ground. It's not easy to get. I have carpet. Don't ask me why in the craft room. But anyways, it wasn't intended to be a craft room originally. It kind of was, but not full time. So I'm still working on that to make it a little bit more flexible up there. I'm going to just center the panels. So I used a little, a little uh, birthday candle print. You really don't see the sides, so you you know those little side panels are kind of optional, but there's not much paper, so if you could see inside, at least uh, you'd have something there. It just finishes it. Or you could put like a dark color, it depends, or a really light color to make it brighter in there. So it's coming together. So now we're going to fold it inward on the right hand side and you're going to see you're going to line up that right edge. This is how it's going to glue on so you kind of get an idea. Then it'll flatten. So it flattens.
So we just want to add glue to the side here. You could do, if you know the spot you need to put it on, you could do it on that little, on the side portion on the card. I'm going to do it a little bit there, up there, so just a fine line up so I can glue this right side. So all you want to do is to line up that right portion of the window cut to the right edge of that card. And I mean that far right, that little piece on the right. And then that glues on there. We just needed a part to glue onto the top. Then you're going to flatten it. See when you flatten it the other way? It's going to naturally tell you where you need to glue. So a little fine line to the... You're going to put a little glue down there and a fine line to the left of that score line. Right upside down, but left if you're looking at it upside right. And you see I'm just flattening it down, get it in the right place. And then there you go. It's actually a quite simple card. It's just um, understanding how it folds. And that's what I mean by having it kind of loose. So now it's uh, fairly easy. I mean, this is actually a quite simple card, I think, for a cute little card to give. Now we're just going to fit in those two shutters. And then... Uh, they fit right in place there, and then we'll add that pot um, below the window. Again, you can see how it lines up right into that that area. Just lines up right against the uh, edge of the window pane. And then we'll go ahead and add some double sticky foam tape to the back of the pot. I like it to pop up, it gives a little dimension. I'll just place it right in the middle. And then you can go ahead and add uh, the optional sentiment if you like. Again, it, there's a happy birthday for print and cut. Uh, if you have, you can print and cut on your uh, die cutter. And, um, or you could actually just take the happy birthday off and use the same shape and put whatever sentiment you want in there, like Mother's Day or just thinking about you or hello, something different, or it, actually anything, whatever you want to put on. Just giving you some ideas. So you can see now that we have that on there and it's kind of flipping up. I'm still trying to train it to come down. So the looser you get it, the better it's going to be for this card. So you can kind of go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Just make sure it doesn't rip, obviously. But that's the card. So it'll fold flat to fit into an A2 envelope. So I hope you like this project. Um, I had fun. That's one of my favorite really simple cards now. And I thank you for watching.